Honorable Speaker, sir, I rise to oppose the motion and to speak in support of the amendments made by our party. First of all, let me begin by humbly accepting the resounding mandate that this government has got. But it is the very nature of the overwhelmingness of this mandate, of the totality of this mandate, that makes it necessary for us to be heard today, for the voice of dissent to be heard today. Had the mandate been any less, there would have been a natural check and balance woven into the narrative. That is not the case. The House belongs to the opposition. So I stand today to reclaim this inch that has been guaranteed to us. Let me start by first quoting Maulana Azad whose statue stands tall outside this great hall. He once said of this country that he was fighting to build. He said, it is India's historic destiny that many human races and cultures should flow to her, finding a home in her hospitable soil, and that many a caravan should find rest here, where our cultures, our languages, our poetry, our literature, our art, the innumerable happenings of our daily life shall bear the stamp of our joint endeavor. This is the ideal that was carved into our constitution. This is the very constitution that each of us has sworn to protect. But this constitution is under threat today. Of course, you may disagree with me. You may say, Ache din are here, and the sun will never set on this Indian empire that this government is seeking to build. But then you're missing the signs. You are missing the signs, and if you only you would open your eyes, you would see that there are signs everywhere that this country is being torn apart. In the few minutes that have been allotted to me, let me list out these dangerous signs. The first sign, there is a powerful and continuing nationalism that is searing into our national fabric. It is superficial. It is superficial. It is superficial. It is superficial. It is xenophobic. It is xenophobic. Sir, there is no room silent. for professional hecklers Madam, inside the corridors of this great hall. There is no room. I urge you to put the house in order. There is a powerful and continuing nationalism being seared into our national fabric. It is superficial, it is xenophobic, and it is narrow. It is a lust to divide. It is not a desire to unite. Citizens are being torn out of their homes and being called illegal immigrants. People who have lived in this country for 50 years are having to show a piece of paper that to prove that they are Indian. In a country where ministers cannot produce degrees to show that they graduated from college, you expect dispossessed poor people to show papers to show that they belong to this country. Slogans and symbols are being used to test allegiance. There is no one symbol, there is no one slogan that can sh There is a resounding disdain. Let her complete, please sit down. The second time, sir. There is a resounding disdain for human rights that is permeating every level of government. There has been a tenfold increase in the number of hate crimes between 2014 and 19. 10x. It is like a valuation of an e-commerce startup, sir. There are forces in this country that are sitting there just pushing this number up. The lynching of citizens in broad daylight is being, uh, is being condoned. From Pehlu Khan in Rajasthan last year to Mr. Ansari in Jharkhand yesterday, the list is not stopping. The third sign, there is an unimaginable subjugation and controlling of mass media today. Five of the largest news media organizations in India are today either indirectly controlled or indirectly debted to one man in this country. TV channels spread a majority of airtime broadcasting propaganda for the ruling party. Coverage of every opposition party is cut out. Let the government come out with facts and figures to show ad spend per media house. What are they spending the money on and which media house are they blocking out? The Information and Broadcasting Ministry employs over 120 people solely to check the content on TV channels every day to make sure that there is no anti-government news being put out. Fake news is the norm. This election was not fought on, government, on farmer distress. This election was not fought on unemployment. This election was fought on WhatsApp, on fake news, on manipulating minds. Every piece of news that this government repeats, every piece of news that you put out, every lie that you put out, you repeat and repeat till it becomes the truth. This is the Goebbels doctrine. You talk of Namdar and Kamdar. Let me tell you, the Congress Party may have put up 36 dinners 
since 1999 in parliament, but the BJP has put up 31. I tell you, every time you put out one figure, one fact, that is not the truth. Anything that is not the truth, you are destroying the fabric of India. Yesterday, the floor leader of the Congress party, the floor leader of the Congress, this is not a place for professional heckling, sir. I urge you, put the house in order. The floor leader of the Congress party yesterday, sir, I will wait, I will urge you to put the house in order. I will wait, I will urge you to put the house in order. Now, now house is order. Thank you. you can... The leader of the floor of the Congress party yesterday said that, co said that the cooperative movement has been a failure in Bengal. I urge him to check his facts. The one cooperative that he is referring to, the Bhagirathi Dairy in Mushidabad, is now in profit, sir. Every small misinformation that we put out serves to destroy this country. The fourth sign, the fourth sign, this is, there is an obsession with national security. At my maiden speech, sir, I have to finish. There is an obsession with national security and the identification of enemies. When we were children, my mother would say, do this, do that, Tala Bhut will come. It is as though all of us in this country are today in fear of some nameless, shameless Tala Bhut. There is fear pervading everywhere. The achievements of the army are being usurped by in the name of one man. Is this correct? New enemies are being created every day. The irony is that over the last five years, the I, I urge you, Mr. Speaker, sir, no professional heckling. The it's irony so is that in the last five years, terrorist attacks have gone up minifold. There has been a 106% decline. There has been a 106% decline, uh, increase in the death of Javans in Kashmir. The, the fifth sign, religion and government are now intertwined in this country. Do I even need to speak about this? Need I remind you that we have redefined what it means to be a citizen. With the NRC and the Citizenship Amendment Bill, we are making sure it is only one community Please that Campbell. is the target of anti-immigration laws. Campbell. Members of Parliament today are more interested in the fate of 2.77 acres of land than in the 812 million acres of the rest of India. This says though that's a much साथ साथ एकर जन्म भूमि के मुद्दा नहीं है ये सारा देश 80 करोड़ एकर को अखंड रखने का प्रश्न है हम आपको सब हम आपको बोलते हैं The number six sign, the most dangerous, there is a complete disdain for intellectuals and the arts. There is a suppression of all dissent. Funding is being cut for liberal education. Scientific temperament, which is the article member, 51 of the my maiden speech, sir. Two minutes, sir. Two minutes. Two minutes, sir. No. There is two minutes, taken three minutes. minutes. There is Article 51 of the Constitution demands a scientific temperament. Everything we are doing is pushing India back to the dark ages. Secondary school textbooks She's going are to being complete. manipulated She's going to and distorted in minute. order to indoctrinate. I ask you one thing. You don't even tolerate questioning, let alone dissent. And I wish to quote the great Hindi poet Ramdhari Singh Dinkar. I wish to tell him this, that the, to tell you this, the spirit of dissent is integral to India. You cannot shackle us. Ha ha, Duryodhan, baan mujhe. Baan ne mujhe tu aaya hai. Zanjir badi kya laaya hai. Sune ko saad na sakta hai, wo mujhe kab baan sakta hai. I ask you this, you cannot keep us down. Number seven, the yes. seventh and the last sign. Please come There is an come. erosion of independence in our electoral system. The election commission has been used to transfer key officials. 60,000 crores were spent on this election, 50% by one party, 27,000 crores. In 2017, the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum put up a poster in its main lobby, and it contained a list of all the signs of early fascism. Each of the seven signs that I have pointed to you feature on that poster. There is a dangerous fascism rising in India. We, it is incumbent upon all of us to stand up to it. Let us, the members of this 17th Lok Sabha, decide which side of history do we want to be on. Do we want to be upholders of this constitution, or do we want to be its pallbearers? I do not dispute the resounding mandate that this government has got. But I have the right to disagree with your idea that there was no one before you and there shall be no one after you. Your allotted time is In already conclusion, over. I quote Rahat Indori. In conclusion, oh. I quote the poet Rahat Indori. Joad Sahib e Masnad hai, wo kal nahi honge. Joad Sahib e Masnad hai, wo kal nahi honge. Kiraidar hai, zati makam thodi na hai. Sabhi ka 
खून है शामिल यहाँ की मिट्टी में सभी का खून है शामिल यहाँ की मिट्टी में किसी के बाप का हिंदुस्तान थोड़ी है थैंक यू